On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to do a review on this Ollie Gavinas planner and let you know my thoughts. I really want to say thank you to Ollie for reaching out to us about this planner. They did sponsor this video. So now let's go back a little bit in time and I'm going to show you how I put this together. So it's time to put this planner together. It comes, the big planner comes in this small box. It is a 12 in one planner. You can make 12 totally different sizes from this one planner. I think I'm going with the biggest one that they make to fit my space back here. When I first got approached by this company, my best friend Stacy, I was telling her about this product. And I said, you know, it's something I kind of been looking at and wanted but I just had not pulled the trigger. So them reaching out to me, I'm like, wait a minute, this is something that I might be interested in. So I showed her and she's like, oh, I want one of those. So she went straight on Amazon and ordered it and I went to her house and helped her put it together before mine came so that I could kind of get an idea of how this worked and how she felt about it. She loved it. They put it together. Her husband, when he got home, he was super excited and they have already filled theirs with flowers and it is beautiful. It looks so good. I'm just hoping mine looks half as good as hers. So today I'm going to work on putting this together and then probably another day I'm going to work on filling it up and putting plants in it and I'll film that as well. But today is just strictly we're putting this together. Now at her house, we put it together inside the house and carried it outside. So it is super lightweight and it's easy, easy to put together. It's really gonna be more of a two person job. If you have two people, we learned what we should have done. Fail, <laughs> frog, Belle's trying to get after it. She's gonna jump in the pond. The hardest part of this whole thing was pulling all the plastic off the pieces so that they didn't get scratched. But then once you do that, you just lay your perimeter. If you had two people, you could start sticking all the screws in and just kind of hand tighten them. And then if you have two people, you take one to hold it and one to tighten it and you could do the whole thing really fast. All right, let's open this up and let's start putting it together. Or I start putting it together. Okay, maybe Stacy missed this. I'm not sure. When I did hers, I'm gonna have to ask her now and grab me some gloves because with hers, it cut us a couple of times and we didn't even know that it cut us. Like we just looked down and we had like a little spot that it had cut us on because it is metal. Well, I grabbed me some gloves to do this with, but look, it already has a pair of gloves in here. This here is the rubber that goes on the top of it once you get it all put together. So pretty much all you need to put this together, since they've supplied with the gloves, is just a Phillips head screwdriver, and that will be all. Real quickly, I wanted to show you these are all the scenarios that you can do. You can do squares, you can do rectangles, you can do skinny oblongs, but I'm doing the 40 by 80, which is way bigger, but you could even do a big square, which is 60 by 60. It just depends on how you put the panels together. This is probably the worst part of it, pulling these off. I'm trying to attach these. I feel like these gloves, I'm gonna use my, I don't know. Cause this, you need like your fingers to be able to get the stuff off. But I don't wanna cut my fingers either. I think I'm just gonna be careful. I've already done this once. And like I said, it kind of cut me a couple of times, but it wasn't really bad.
and I will show you how I did the panels each one after I get them kind of together just to kind of talk about it all together I wanted to show you exactly how I did this and I don't think there's a right or a wrong to do this it's just how visually you want it to look so I wanted my corners to be on the outside of the panels so this is outside this is inside this is outside inside outside inside and it just goes around that way and that's just the way I wanted it to look that's just for me visually all right I'm going to finish putting all the hand tighten all the screws and then I'm gonna come back and finish tightening them up and then I'll move it over into place all right so now I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to tighten all these up they give you this wrench and you just stick it on the nut and then put your screwdriver in and then just hand tighten everything up now let me do this a lot more just a lot of repetition this can be a one person job putting it together but moving it you need two people and i'm waiting on bill he's washing his truck oh it sounds like he's coming to help me move it into place i wanted to go over the dead spot right there i know it'll be up the hill a little bit too but it'll be level i know i got that i got this let's just i just want it over there i'll fix all that it's not heavy it's just so long it in place. I'm fixing have to go get ready to show houses now, so I'm gonna come up to finish it today. That's the story of my life when it comes to doing stuff. I can only do it until I have to go <laughs> show houses, which I'm going to show houses, list the house. I can come back and try to get it leveled up maybe today. If not, it's gonna be like a week because I'm not gonna be able to finish it. But I love how this is gonna look right here. And what I love is if I wanted to, which I'm not, because I'm not a gardening kind of person, this would be perfect if you want, if you had a small space and you wanted to garden, it could be a raised flower bed. All right, till the day that I'm gonna fill it and get it all ready. And then I will bring you along for that part so that we can talk about how to fill this big thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on before I call it a day. minutes I would say to get it totally together. I need to feel like I need to get a little screwdriver because all the places that it's put together I'm having a hard time getting the stripping down over it. So I feel like I need like a little screwdriver to kind of help it over because it's a little thicker on those spots. But other than that now I got to go get ready. I am running out of time. Bill's involved. Here comes out the level. level we'll need to fill this with something and on my research and I researched this because well I'm not a gardener and uh, I don't know a whole lot about gardening but in my research it said that if you wanted to use filler in it to help so you don't use as much dirt you can use bricks you can use rocks you can use plastic bottles to fill it up it did say not to use pine bark mulch it could cause the roots of the plants to get root rot. Now I don't know all that, so don't like if you get me in the comments. I like 
I don't know. I'm just reading what I had researched. And we have quite a bit of brick. I'm going to use that as our filler. And we ended up leveling it. And we had quite a bit of dirt that we were able to use from that. Once I get this filled up. And then I got to get plants in it. And then I'll have the final video. So I went today and got some more topsoil. I ended up using seven really big bags, but we did have a little bit of the dirt that we had dug out that we used in there. I really feel like I could have probably used one or two more bags, but we're gonna make this work. I feel like it's all gonna start flowing over and it's gonna be pretty once I get it all planted. If you're looking for a raised bed planter, I think this one is awesome. I really am impressed with it. It goes together so easily, and I love the fact that it's customizable to your space. My friend Stacy absolutely loved this thing, and she loves how hers turned out. If you wanted to do raised bed gardening, I think these would be perfect for that as well. I'm just not a gardener. I'm really, I don't do a whole lot of flowers and stuff other than down here around our pool. So that's the reason I decided to put it here. If you're looking for a galvanized raised bed planner, go check it out. Link will be in the description box. Till next time, like and subscribe.